Namaste. Welcome to Beauty and Colorful Tales. I'm Ilandi, a qualified skincare therapist, also known as a somatologist. And on this platform of mine, I share anything beauty, skincare, nail care tips and tricks. So if you haven't yet, feel free to like and subscribe to join us on a healthy, glowing, radiant skincare journey. Today, I will be sharing with you all something that we all should actually be doing on a regular basis, and that is looking after our hands. It is another part of our bodies, except for our feet, that we tend to neglect. So I'm just going to show you all a step-by-step -step quick little video on how to look after your hands, just to make them look nice and bright and healthy and glowing and give you some nice strong nails. Firstly, I'm just getting some nice warm water ready to soak my hands in. Um, we've just recently moved, so my hands are quite sore from all the cleaning and the carrying of things around. So I am going to be using some Epsom salt in the water just to help and nourish and um, just to relax the muscles in my hands because they are quite sore after all of that hard work that I've done. And it will also just help to soften the cuticles just to help and push them back a little bit easier as well. I'll be adding in about one to two teaspoons of um, Epsom salt in my bowl with my water, warm water, just to help and dissolve it in that. So next I'll just be soaking my hands in the warm water just for about five to ten minutes, not too long. And then this will just, like I said, help to soften the cuticles, just easier to push them back, but also just to relax the hands, especially because they have been a little bit tired lately. I've also got my coffee scrub, my DIY coffee scrub, ready next to me for scrubbing on the hands. I just wanted to add in a little bit of lime or lemon juice, just a couple of drops, just to help with the brightening of the skin, as well as just to exfoliate a little bit as well, because the coffee granules is, an, um, is a physical exfoliator where the lime is a chemical or it acts as a chemical exfoliant. I've also just got a little bit of lime in the water, also just once again to help with the glowing of the hands, of the skin, but it also helps with treating if you've got any nail disorders, any nail fungus, anything like that. It just helps a little bit with that as well. The first step that we're going to be following is pushing back the cuticles. Now we want to do this very gently and softly as you don't want to injure your cuticles, you don't want to cause any bleeding, you don't want to have painful cuticles to end off with, we want to do this as a relaxing treatment. Then I'm just going to be gently scraping off any excess dead skin cells that has built up over the nail bed area just in front of the cuticles and this also just helps to make it look nice and neat. Now if you don't have a cuticle pusher available, you can use a toothpick as well. Um, most of us have got toothpicks anyways in our homes. We don't always have cuticle pushers. But once again, please remember when you are using this to be really, really careful, especially around the cuticles. Um, it just helps to scrape off the excess dead skin cell. Also, you can use it for cleaning underneath the nails because it's one place we also tend to neglect and it can get really dirty under there. But be really careful. Don't go and put a lot of force in cleaning under your nails because you can actually push the toothpick right in between your nail bed and the nail causing injury which can lead to infections and things like that which we don't want. So remember please be careful when you do use this for cleaning underneath. Right so after all of that is done we are going to be using a cuticle nipper to cut off any excess cuticles that has grown over that you've pushed back. You do get other cuticle um, cutters and knives in that as well. I just prefer using this cuticle nipper. I just find it easier to use as you can cut off and can cut away and injure yourself a lot more with the other ones that is there. So once again, just remember to be really careful when you are using these tools. Next, we will be filing our nails. Now my nails, I try to keep them in a similar shape all the time, but like I said, we've been moving, so they've been breaking and chipping and that. Um, so I've just filing them a little bit more to get them into proper shape again. And remember when you are filing to file gently and preferably in one direction, just to help and prevent that nail build up from underneath. Okay, and then next I will be using a buffing block or a nail buffer that I'm just going to be using to gently buff on top of the surface of the nail. You can use a nail file, but try and use one of your older nail files if you've got because they are a lot more gentle and soft on the nail you don't want to 
file deep ridges into your nails you want it to be nice and smooth so that is why i'm using a buffer block it also helps to if there is any excess or any cuticle dead skin left over the, on the surface of the skin it just helps to remove those as well so you can go nice and close to the cuticles but be careful you don't want to over file onto the cuticles as they can bleed and the next step is one of my favorite steps and that is exfoliating of the hands now i've got my coffee scrub diy coffee scrub which is just plain coffee beans that's been ground into a fine powder that's left over from the coffee i've made earlier and i've just added in a couple of drops of the lime or lemon juice as well to help and exfoliate and brighten the skin i've added nothing else you can if you've got very dry skin you can add in a little bit of coconut oil but if you've got pure coffee beans there's already a lot of nourishing oils in the coffee itself so you don't really need an extra oil like i said unless your skin is extremely dry we're just going to be exfoliating all over the hands around the knuckles and especially over the cuticle area just to ensure that there's no dead skin cells there to get the blood circulation going just to get a nice smooth surface of the skin now we just need to rinse off the coffee scrub nicely ensure that you do remove it properly as even though you haven't applied any oils to it the, because there is an oil in the coffee beans already it tends to stick on the skin a little bit so ensure that you are using nice warm water to help and rinse it off thoroughly i'm also just using a bit of a nail brush because sometimes the coffee scrub goes in by the cuticles just to help and remove any coffee grounds that are still stuck in there and just to get the nails nice and glowing and if it hasn't been all removed with your nail brush then you can just use your toothpick that you've got or your cuticle um, pusher the other end of it and you can just ensure that there's no more coffee grounds stuck underneath your nails because it does feel a little bit odd when there's still coffee grounds stuck underneath i'm just using my nail polish remover just to remove any excess oil on the surface of the nail because i am going to be applying a nail treatment over my nails and i can't have any oil residue as the nail polish or the nail varnish won't stick i'm just going to be using my nika going strong nail treatment i really like this one as it does feel like it makes my nails nice and strong and the other reason why I like it is because it just gives a nice healthy sheer look on the nails just gives it a bit of a shininess next we're going to be using cuticle oil now this is literally just coconut oil with a couple of drops of castor oil that I've mixed in an old nail polish bottle that I've cleaned out I just find it is easy with application and storage we're just going to be gently massaging it over the cuticles and around the nails ensure that your nail polish is dried if you have used any if you haven't used any you can go all the way over the nails just to help with the nourishment of the nails as well then lastly it is a hand moisturizer hand cream i love using the shea butter really nice and nourishing for the hands especially if you've got very dry hands just give yourself a nice little hand massage ensuring that the moisturizer is absorbed everywhere and that is it for today i hope you all enjoyed watching this video that you've learned something that you can apply this on a weekly basis for yourself just a little bit of tlc a little bit of tender loving care to get your hands nice and looked after because we tend to neglect them and we are always using them if there's anything else that you would like to know about beauty skin care or nail care just leave them in the comments below and like i've mentioned before if you haven't yet feel free to like and subscribe to join us on a healthy glowing and radiant skincare journey i'll see you all in the next one